Good evening, everybody. It's time to roll the wind. Doing a special request again on a die set. Uh, skill and luck. Skill and luck. <clears throat> I've been waiting on this, and I've drugged my feet on getting one out. <coughs> so let's see. <clears throat> he wanted the 5662. So first thing you need to know, that is an inline six die set. <clears throat> inline die set is full of double pitches six one five two two five one six on the bottom so lots of sevens so <clears throat> basically this puts them all into a single pitch situation You know, a lot of people call it the no nine, a no nine set, <clears throat> and that's true. It is a no nine set unless you go off axis and you got a nine. Everywhere. And wherever you have nines on the opposite side, you're going to have fives or no fives. So it's really a no five and a no nine set. <clears throat> now, I've done a no nine video before. It's, it's been a popular strategy. Uh, it was real popular on some of the YouTube channels for a while. Personally, I don't get into hedges too much. It's kind of, it can be a hedge. It can be a come out thing. But if you're coming out with this set and you stay on axis, you got opportunities for hard tens. You got opportunities for elevens. You got eights. You got an ace deuce on the bottom. You got sixes. So you got a lot on the come out. So let's assume for a moment we're on a fifteen dollar table and we're going to toss this set. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hedge. I'm going to hedge my uh, come out roll either with a horn bet or with a crap check. You can go three dollars and cover twenty-one. You can go two dollars and cover fourteen of it. You can go three dollars on a three-way horn or, or on a three-way craps bet. Yo is covered right here at fifteen dollars. <throat> That's probably what I would do if I'm coming out with that set. I want to do it with two different colored dice, so we can watch the on and off axis situations. Of course, we know immediately if we hit a five or a nine, we were off axis, right? And there's an eight. That would be an off axis eight. All right. So a lot. Of, I don't really know how anybody would want to play it. I mean, they're going. They're trying to shoot a seven or other six, eight, five, four, six, eight, and ten. But they're going to go with a no nine. Uh, from what I'm understanding so <clears throat> if you could place a $15 six could, or $18 six I could place a $15 ten could do a five in case I go off axis there we'll do all that Let's see what we hit. Now, thing is, you've got one, two, three, four, five. You got 45. I knew that didn't look right. 
You got 30, 60, 75, $78 at risk. <clears throat> so you've got to lay, apparently the idea is to lay the nine. Well, if you lay 45, you win 25. So I need to win three 25s, right? So 45 times three, 15, 20, 215, is that right? As a lay bet, lost my lay buttons. Somewhere. Anyway, since they were right there. <clears throat> so, your idea, the idea behind the die set: stay on axis, hit a few points, and if you're seven out, you're covered. At least that's what I understand in the principle of the idea. But I gotta tell you, if I hit a nine, I'm in big time in the hole. But I can't think of any other reason why I would want to throw a no nine without hitting a seven. So I gotta leave a lay up there. And you can lay it for more if you're good enough and your own axis enough. There's a 3 1 4. Off axis on the left die. So you win 28. So in theory, you could start pulling down the nine. And then that cost you a $5 VIG at least to make that leg bet. So you've got to give the dealer $5 just to make the bet. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of people who love this type of strategy. I just am not real comfortable with it for obvious reasons. Now there's the seven. There's the four three. The left die was off axis. Right die was off axis. So, <clears throat> you lay wins, all this loses. Luckily we had a four ahead of time and you're up a little bit. That's the theory. All right, so let's do this. We had, uh, hmm. We'll throw a green chip wherever there's a winner. And I'll do a white chip and for a loser. How about that? So I really don't want to keep up with wins versus losses per se, money-wise, because I'm just honest with you, I'm not that good at knowing what all the lays are. that one right into the wall. That would be a six. Five one six. If 
five, one on the bottom of the right die. I guess another theory is to work the six and eights, but if you don't have if you don't have that twelve and that two and that ace deuce covered, it'll get you two on the come out unless you're bet shooting from the dumps, which may be what they do. Hard eight. with a green chip. There is that five four nine. Let's call that a a loser. Oh, that was a big hop back. Alright, so we just made our point. Five one six. Right there. Well, I think I must have rolled that over. I know that had to be on the five. Alright, so that's the importance. of own axis. Our primary and secondary hits. There's a come out nine. Those two dice kissed each other. Left die kicked way off. Now I have no idea what it would have landed on otherwise. But the two dice clank, clanked together. So we've had two losers on the lay. Six four ten. Ten would now be the point. Right die kicked over from five to four. And I only run about 50% any given time, plus or minus on axis. There's a hard four. So that'd be a winner on this hand. Bottom of the five, front face of the right. There's the top. There's the yo. Mark it with a green chip. Probably should have used certain colors for certain primaries and secondaries and all that stuff, but didn't think about it. There's a 
there's the ace deuce now I've seen people shoot the 6-2 the inline 6's 6-2-6-2 six, six, two, six, two. We may look at that in a moment too. There's a hard 10. That would be the point. So that hand was a good little winner. And on that point cycle. Hit a 10, hit a 4, hit an 8. <clears throat> Five, two, seven. If you would have had your lay would have been working, that would have been a winner. And I've got two, two winning sevens sitting up here. Two losing seven, or two losing nines. So it would really depend upon if you were <coughs> heavy up front on your... Uh, lay bet and then bring it down some I would think if you're able to collect there's another ace deuce left die was a one the right die was a two Double pitch, back side, front side. Five, one, six. Top, bottom of that die, secondary hit. Yeah, just rolled up. I'm, I'm not doing well as a stick man tonight. point on a very ugly throw winning hand lay bet loses <clears throat> unless you're only throwing it on the come out I would say you need to regress as you take your profits as you bring your profits in now the interesting thing is is we've thrown two nines and we've thrown no fives. There's no fives on the primary faces of these <clears throat> these dice either. It's just the way it goes. Five, three, eight. Eight's the point. Running into that yo, that chip right there. It's in my way. Move it down there. I 
There is a loser 5-4-9 on the lay bet. Again, those two dice clanged into each other right there. Whether that would have affected them being a 9 or not, I cannot tell you. But it did affect them. Five one six. Not that the showing is off, but it's on. Another five four nine. Now I would think, again, I don't know, I'm not that much of a hedge player, but if you've knocked yourself off, I'm not sure you'd put yourself back up on that lay. If you're charting this table, the nine's the one you want to lay. There's a six three nine or a three six. So we've hit four or five. We've got five no no nines that have been knocked out. Or we've thrown that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 50% roughly, 13, a little less than 50% on nines. So you gotta be better than that. Got to be better than that. Particularly with this, with this dice set formation. There's the yogi. Another yo. I'm assuming you're going to shoot from the pass line. So if a come out yo, it's not a come out, but it wouldn't hurt you. There's an ace deuce. Third ace deuce. Trying to get an end here. If we get an end, we'll look at the the six two six two. Deuce again. Back side of this one, front side of that one, double pitch. Of course, that was a long rollout on that black die. Four two six. So you guys that are into hedging and can shoot this die set with really good 
accuracy. There's our first five. First five. It's a four one. Right die rolled over. Four sitting right here on this end. Hard four. Been kind of a long little hand right here. Ugly toss. First twelve. It's our first twelve of this. It's not hard to see where that came from off that die set. Boom and boom. Week, week, five, four, nine. That one didn't make it to the wall, and we're close. It, it skipped left and stopped right there. Still shooting with these really, really, really fresh dice. Pretty sharp. Three, one, four. <coughs> Left die rolled over. And there is the point. Got six nines thrown. Depending on where you were with your lays, if you were reducing, as you made money on these others, maybe took it off. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the horn numbers. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Total tosses, none. Now, did I do that right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, none, 9s, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Eight tosses. Less than fifty percent of the tosses came up as nines. Best bet would have been to lay on the fives. You're gonna lay something, I guess, because we had two. I didn't count these. 
we got two winning chips setting up here. We had two sevens that were thrown that came out and would have been a winner on the lay bet. So let's look at where the die set really comes from here. And that's the 6262. So let's toss in it just a quick hand or two. We got 30 tosses. We're not going to try that. We had uh, a couple of sevens in there. Let's see what we can come up with real quick. So they don't have to worry about this money on the betting side of this. So what if we're throwing the 6262? Two, six, two? Got hard fours, hard tens, we got a 12, we got our aces, we got eights. We're gonna have sixes eights sixes fours and tens and ace deuce or ace and aces and box cars we're gonna have an ace deuce as a as a secondary hit Let's see what comes out with this. First hit is a seven. So we got a winner on the lay of the nine. Assuming we're laying the nine again. We're trying to shoot a no nine, so that's a come out winner. Pass line wins. Your lay bet wins. Maybe you just want to shoot it on the come out. I'm really not sure what people's strategies are. Everybody's got different ones, I guess. There's an eight. There's a five that's not supposed to be there. There's a six, four, ten. That ace deuce. a four but not a primary red dice rolled over one right in there in the inside of that die
paste deuce again. A single pitch ace deuce. Bottom of the left die, front of the right die. That's why I practice with two different colors. And that's why I use Bone Tracker. There's that nine we're not supposed to hit. Hopefully, after you hit a four and a ten, you don't need that much of a leg bet left up there. that nine again six four six left die was a four right side die was a five Ten. Now that's a backside primary hit. It's the backside of those two dice. So it's really about can you exercise facial control? I've never claimed I could all that well. Strive for it. Five one six. Thing is, if you hit that nine and you got too much light on it, then you got a hole to climb out of. Just like you do if you put 110 inside and point seven out, you got a hole to dig out of. There's the seven. Alright, so we've had two sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tosses. Twenty percent were nines. 20% were sevens with a 6262. That, that's a very short example. Over a long period of time, you'd see some different, different numbers depending upon the shooter. But that's just an example to look at. Again, if I'm shooting that on the come out and I'm laying, I might split the five and nine lay. You know, if I was going to lay, let's just say, uh, $300. Instead of laying all of it on the nine, I'd probably split it on the five. And I'd probably have me a three-way craps going, shooting from the pass line. Another really, really good bet with this is to do a world bet with an ace deuce kicker for a dollar say a ten dollar eight a ten dollar world one dollar ace deuce with this set if you can keep them keep your facial controls revolving around the center of those dice if that were an axle or the axis of that particular dice, you can keep them rotating around that stick. 
do okay. If you're a single pitch guy like I am and you want more sevens, then roll that one like skill and luck was talking about. I'm surely going to roll more sevens sooner, I would think. On a single pitch dice set, if I could hit, if I could hit my landing zone, it help. That's an ace deuce. These dice are sharp, and I'm trying to put them in close to the wall, and I'm putting them too close to the wall. <clears throat> that was that six and that two facial control up front on that one gotta get those dice laying flat it really helps bad part is is they stuck they didn't go to the wall Heard them clank. There's the seven. There's the single pitch seven I was just talking about. So if you're wanting sevens and you're a single pitch guy like I tend to be a lot, that would be the die set to use. I would also, like I said, recommend if I'm making numbers other than nine, I'm probably going to regress that nine down ultimately to zero once I don't need the protection and I'm assuming the reason and the strategy behind this is to use the nine as a hedge or to protect your other bets so if that's the case you gotta as you win on your place bets you need to bring that lay or that hedge bet down in my opinion all right that's about all I know to do with it skill and luck I apologize for taking so long to get this one redone I had tried it a couple times I never and as you can tell I really don't know what to do with that set I really don't know how to do a good video on that set Vegas dice controllers got some good videos on the no nine but he uses the 6262 that we used a moment ago bird dog I think it's got some no nine bets out there, no nine videos. If that's your thing, wanting a hedge, but if you can't keep it on axis and you can't keep your facial controls together, you're going to have a big hole in a hurry and you're going to dig a big hole. You're going to hit a nine. Your eight's going to be your point. You're going to hit a nine. You're going to lose that money and then you're going to throw a seven and you wipe yourself out. That's what you got to be scared about or that's what you got to be worried about. So don't do this unless you've got really good control of the dice. You're getting good facial controls. That dice are on axis. That's my opinion. Practice like you play. Play like you practice. Go roll to win. <laughs>